Hi, for more practice, let's show the following relationship. Show partial C V with respect to V, constant temperature, equals T time, uh, times partial squared P with respect to T squared at constant volume, under bar. So, how do we start this problem? We're going to use a slightly different form of differential energy. This could be internal energy U. Uh, e is used sometimes in physics, so we're just going to use E here. Sometimes also E in engineering means total uh, energy in the system, which can be somewhat confusing, but here I'm just using it to mean internal energy. DE equals CV dt plus T del P del T constant V under bar minus P dV under bar. To see how you get this equation, I refer to you to the, another video where uh, we focus on the first uh, Maxwell relation solution to a problem. So we're going to begin with this, and the first thing we're going to do is I want you to note that one of the definitions for constant volume heat capacity is that del E del T at constant V is defined as CV. This is a slightly, uh, this is a completely equivalent to the entropy uh, uh, derivation of this, and you can actually show from this equation and the similar entropy equation that these two are completely equivalent. So we'll start with this, uh, this note, and now we can uh, just, it's a really simple, straightforward derivation problem. Let's start by just doing it's a simple commutative property that you can do with multivariable functions. And so what we can do is that the following must be true according to the commutative property of taking the second derivative of a function. Partial by partial v with respect to constant temperature times partial E with respect to temperature constant volume must be equal to partial by partial t, we're just going to switch the order here in which we do the differentiation. At constant volume, del E, del V, constant temperature. Well, right away, we see we can substitute in CV here, and we already have half of our equation that we're looking for. The partial CV, partial V under bar, constant T, equals all that's on the other side. Well, if we go back up to this equation, what is del E del V at constant T? Del E del V at constant T, this goes away, is equal to this whole term here in the brackets. So this is going to be equal to partial by partial T constant V of the whole term in the brackets, which is T del P del T constant V minus P. Now, it's a, a pretty straightforward process. We just take the differentiation one more step and see what cancels out. So let's, let's take these, um, let's do this differentiation. You have to do a little bit of product rule. It's not really that hard. And you end up with del C V del V under bar constant T equals del T del T at constant V for the first term here times what's on the inside which will be del P del T at constant V plus T del squared P del T squared constant V for taking the derivative of the inside term times um, the, uh, the other, the, other uh, the temperature here. And then lastly, just minus this term here, del P del T constant v. This derivative is equal to 1, so this term here and this term here plus minus cancel out, and you're left with our solution, del C v del v under bar equals t del squared p del t squared constant v. Pretty straightforward stuff, but it still shows some of the power of uh, thermodynamic relations, and the commutative property to solve problems.